and welcome back. Today's video is about how to deal with caterpillars when it is infested on your plants and also how to identify caterpillars on your plants. I was away for two weeks. It was raining all the time. White moths, they lay eggs on the plants um, and they turn the eggs turn into caterpillars and this is what it happens when it is infested with caterpillars. That's why I suggest to check on your plants every day and if you see um, some um, signs that the caterpillars are on your plants then it's important to deal with them uh, right then otherwise if it gets infested um, with many eggs and caterpillars then it's really hard uh, as you can see this plant all the leaves are gone usually what happens is when the caterpillars infest your plants they eat all the leaves and they uh, the entire um, branch will uh, succumb and it will die but plant won't die basically uh, it develops new shoots and uh, new leaves but the, the vines that are already there if they are infested like this they will um, it won't survive there is one best example i can show you um, how i target the caterpillars with bt and i'll show you spraying this bt on the caterpillar and we can see how um, that that is effective this is this is called bacillus turicide and this is actually a bacteria which is naturally found in the soil so this is not a pesticide but this is biological um, control for the caterpillars and you know uh, hornworms caterpillars all these but it will target the caterpillar stage so once once you spray bt on the caterpillars you have to have caterpillars it has to get into contact with the caterpillars then caterpillars um, consume this and it's not good for the digestive system and they eventually die so it's pretty much very effective this is a snake god vegetable plant and it's been two weeks since i haven't taken care of this plant because we've been on vacation had heavy rainfall so look at the state of the plant basically at the first sign if you um, target them then it's much easier but this has gone way too far and it has spread to the entire plant and it's important to deal with it now otherwise this plant will die and there are fresh shoots coming up here these are fine so I'm going to target this one with PT and caterpillar damage is fairly easy to identify on your plants first look for the holes these are the holes that are made by the caterpillars and also half eaten missing edges that's been eaten by the caterpillar or entirely missing leaves and also if you see black stuff like that that's called caterpillar frost or it's poop of the caterpillar so definitely caterpillar is somewhere over there or underneath and also if the leaf is folded it might there might be caterpillar inside it and these are the caterpillar frost and if you see deposits like that definitely it's underneath here so i can't just pick one caterpillar from the leaf and uh, it's really hard for me now so i'm going to spray the entire plant with the bt this is very effective to the caterpillar stage and it is not effective to the egg stages so i'll show you how i spray this on the caterpillar and basically almost two tablespoons of two to three tablespoons of bt um, to one gallon of water i've already mixed this one and i have made an entire video on uh, explanation of bt and the usage and application so I'll leave the link in the description box, please check them out. But now I'm going to spray it on the caterpillar right here. As you can see, this is the caterpillar. So the, the BT will be effective on these caterpillars. It has to be in the caterpillar stage. And I spray it on the, bee, on the caterpillar like that. And once it consumes, then this caterpillar will die. So there's one more infestation here. So see, as you can see, I'm spraying the BT spray on this caterpillar. Poor thing, I feel really sorry, you know, once they get into contact 
but when you have one or two like that it, it you can easily take them off and throw them away but the infestation like mine it's not going to work so that's why i have to kill them so if you have infestation like mine then i would recommend to uh, spray bt continuously for two to three days until you see the caterpillars are gone um, because sometimes bt spray might not get into contact with ca some caterpillars and they will still stay so I would recommend to spray three to four days, two to three days, depends, depending upon how uh, hugely it is infested. And when you are spraying this uh, spray, make sure there is no direct sunlight because bacteria is highly susceptible to sunlight. And also make sure there is no rainfall, otherwise this will wash away and it won't be effective. So basically that's all about the video and uh, this is not harmful to butterflies or bees. It is safe uh, for them. It, is, it only targets caterpillars, as I said. Hope this was a helpful video, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.